Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Today's um, title of discussion is Unlocking Academic Excellency. Practical Strategies for Student Success Using Bloom's Taxonomy Brought to you by Israel Y.K. Nubogo. What is Bloom's Taxonomy? Bloom's Taxonomy is a framework used to classify educational objectives into um, different levels of complicity and difficulty. It, is, it uh, consists of six levels, starting from the simplest to the most complex, remembering, understanding, applying, analyzing, evaluating, and creating. Here's a detailed speech on how um, a student, a fellow student like me, can use Bloom's taxonomy to excel in class. Ladies and gentlemen, esteemed educators, and my fellow students, today, I come before you to shed light on a powerful tool that can significantly enhance our learning journey. This tool is Bloom's taxonomy. This framework, devised by Benjamin Bloom in the 1950s, remains as relevant today as it was then. It has helped in guiding students like us toward academic excellency. At its core, Bloom's taxonomy categorizes learning objectives into six distinct levels, each representing a different cognitive process. Let's delve um, into each level and explore how we can leverage them to excel in our academic pursuits. The first level is remembering. The first level involves recalling factual information. As students, we often find ourselves um, inundated with facts, figures, and concepts. To excel in this aspect, it's crucial to employ effective memorization techniques such as mnemonic devices, flashcards, and repetition. By mastering remembering, we lay a solid foundation upon which a um, higher level of cognitive skills can be built. The second level is understanding. Moving beyond um, Mere memorization. Understanding requires us to grasp the meaning of the information that we have learned. This involves um, explaining ideas in our own words, summarizing concepts, and identifying key principles. To excel here, engage in active reading, participate in discussions, and seek clarification. So when uh, concepts seem ambiguous, understanding lays um, the, the groundwork for applying knowledge in real-world scenarios. The third level is applying. Application is where theoretical knowledge meets practical implementation. To excel at this level, actively seek opportunities to apply what you have learned in novel situations whether it's solving problems, conducting experiments, or even completing projects. The key is to bridge the gap between theory and practice. Embrace challenges and don't shy away from experimenting with new approaches. The fourth level is analyzing. Analyzing requires breaking down information into its component parts, and then examining their relationships. Um, to excel here, adopt a critical mindset, ask probing questions, and uh, deconstruct complex ideas. Look for patterns and discrepancies, as well as underlying assumptions. By honing our analytical skills, this will help us gain deeper insights into the subject matter as well as uncover hidden connections. The fifth level is evaluating. Evaluating 
involves making judgments based on criteria as well as standards. To excel in this realm, cultivate a discerning eye. Weigh evidence objectively, as well as consider alternative viewpoints. Challenge assumptions, seek out multiple perspectives, and construct well-reasoned arguments. By becoming adept at evaluation, we develop our capacity to discern between valid and flawed arguments, thus enhancing our intellectual rigor. The sixth level is creating. The pinnacle of Bloom's taxonomy, which is creating, involves generating new ideas, products, or even interpretations. To excel at this level, embrace creativity, think outside the box, and care, as I was saying, and dare to innovate. Whether it's writing a compelling narrative, designing an original experiment, or creating a unique solution to a problem. Do not be afraid to unleash your imagination. By becoming proficient creators, we leave our mark on the academic landscape and thereby contribute meaningfully to our fields of study. Bloom's taxonomy serves as a roadmap for academic success, guiding us through progressively higher levels of cognitive complicity. By mastering each level, the levels being remembering, understanding, applying, analyzing, evaluating, and finally creating, we unlock our full potential as learners and scholars. So, let us embrace this framework wholeheartedly, for in doing so, we pave the way for a brighter future filled with knowledge, discovery, and achievement. Let me delve deeper into practical examples of how um, students can make the most of Bloom's taxonomy. Starting with the first level, remembering. Create conscious summaries of flashcards of key concepts, dates, and formulas for easy recall. Um, you can also use mnemonic devices to remember lists or sequences, such as acronyms or rhythms. The second level, understanding. Explain complex ideas in your own words to ensure comprehension. Um, teach a concept to a peer or a study group, reinforcing your understanding while also helping others at the same time. The third level, which is applying. Here, you can solve um, problems or case studies that require application of um, learned concepts. Um, this can further be done by working on real-world projects that simulate professional scenarios relevant to your field of study. The fourth level, which is um, analyzing. Here, you can um, break down complex problems into smaller components. Breaking down these complex problems into smaller components will help you um, identify patterns or trends. Compare and contrast different theories. This can be even different approaches within your subject area. The fifth level, which is evaluation or evaluating. Here, you can critically assess the validity and reliability of sources when conducting research. Debate and discuss conflicting viewpoints on a topic, weighing the strengths, not only the strengths, but also the weaknesses of each argument. And the sixth level, which is the peak of Bloom's taxonomy, is creating. Here, design and evaluate. As I was saying here, design and execute a research project that, you, that um, explores a novel aspect 
of your discipline. This can also be done by developing innovative solutions to real world challenges, using creativity to think beyond conventional approaches. Therefore, by integrating these practical strategies into your study routine, you will not only enhance your understanding of course material, but also um, cultivate essential skills such as critical thinking, problem solving, and finally, creativity. Remember, the key to success lies in actively engaging with each level of Bloom's taxonomy and continuously challenging yourself to reach newer heights of academic achievements. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for listening to me. I remain Israel YK Lugogo. I shall take my leave.